At the 75,000 at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, a special treat. A legends match between teams led by Ron Barassi and Lee Matthews. OK, now welcome to the winner's room, even though we haven't played. Barney, what a great game that was. Fantastic game, yeah. We were too strong, we too tough. tough. No, too I'm hard at the ball. On a serious note, you want to pump up the boys? You ready to go? No, they're too tough. They're ready. They're ready. overhyped already. Now, Jack, uh, what sort of kicks are you having out there tonight? Kicks. Kicks? I can, like an, kicks? I can only kick drop kicks. Only drop kicks? <laughs> That's all I can kick. What's a drop kick? <laughs> Peter McKenna? Now, you're looking forward to kicking a bag full tonight? I, I'm glad I've got you on my side. I had Barry Price for years. Now I've got the best kick of all time. Ah, did, you, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Now, Maury? What, mate? Calvin Moore. Now, you're at uh, St Kilda at the moment. Uh, obviously, uh, all the players are going to be watching you playing tonight. What sort of uh, uh, advantage are you going to give them tonight? Oh, just that running game from the back line, which I sort of um, worked on very hard when I played. Yeah, yeah. And drop kicks, play kicks, the whole any, thing. Uh, any old scores to settle? Oh, Doug Wade, is he playing on the opposite? Yes, he is. Yeah, I'll fit him, I think. I'll help you too as well. As you can see, we're all pumped up, ready to go in here. And uh, Barry Breen, if yeah, we mate. need you, you'll be down the fall line for that last kick. I'll be on the spot. X marks the spot. X marks what spot? 80 metres out. No, 85 yards out. That's where it was. That's where I'll do it again if I have to. Sensational. We've got him all backed up. Now, of course, we've got the man who led Hawthorne to many premierships, Donny Scott. Now, Don, got you those could, famous boots on? You have Bertie. You can't still put two words together. No, these are blades, Bertie. I've gone revolutionary tonight. These are new. Now, any old uh, scores to settle out there? Yeah, there'll be a few, Bertie. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You going to nominate no, anybody? Well, number nine, but he's on my team, so <laughs> I can't do much about it. Why is everybody after me? As you can see, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight, but uh, on a serious note, the red team wants to win, so off we go. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the rooms of the Legends match. We have Ron Barassi's team. Ron, Ron, you're going to give the team a bit of a pump up. Now, Ron, come on. You've got to give, got to give the team a bit of a pump up. What are the traditional, the traditional values you're going to give to the guys? Come on. Okay. Are we on, are we? Yeah. Look, I might look, look a bit of a gig in this hat. And stop your laughing, Robbie Flower. Stop that laughing. Don't need the hat. We're going to give the, this crowd value. They have paid big money to see us play, and I think they should see your best. Now, your best was done last night in bed while you were thinking about the game. We understand this. We're going live. Right. We're going live. We're going live. <laughs> oh, right. Anyway, look, just enjoy yourselves. Don't do anything untoward. Nothing against the rules. No melees. We can't afford the fines. You know that. Okay. Thank you. Johnny Rantel. John, where are you starting off today, John? I'm starting off at uh, halfback flank, I think, coach, aren't I? Yeah. Do you know who you're playing on? Is it in today's no. football? You've got to pick a man up and crunch him. And... I'm looking for the biggest and the slowest bloke I can find. Who do you think that will be on the red team? They're on the other side of the room. Um, you pick one. Well, what about uh, Dipper? He looks big and slow. <laughs> very slow <laughs> and very awkward. Yeah. Michael Roach, Roachy, are you starting? Where are you playing? No, I'm on the bench, mate. On the bench. I'm taking Doug Wade's spot at half time. But Dougie Wade's meant to have a hamstring. Well, I hope he, do I hope he keeps going. I really don't want to go on, I don't think. I want to, you, you want to get dirty? What, is it too cold for you? Uh, I'm not dirty these white pants. Oh, th <laughs> thanks very much, Roachy. No worries. Jeff Rains, Rainsy, mate, are you right, starting mate. today? Are you Sorry? looking forward to tonight? Oh, very much so, mate. Yeah, it should be a bit of fun. Caught up with a lot of old mates, a lot of old friends, yeah, a lot few, of old enemies as well. Viewers getting a bit grey and a bit, bit bald, but yeah, a lot of old enemies, a lot of old foes and a lot of mates. Have you had a kick in the last 10 years? No, not too many, mate. No, it should be interesting tonight. Well, make sure you stretch the, the, the thighs. I just said to Skilt, are we, are we stretching? He said, what for? Oh, Bobby Skelton. What's that? Mate, drop kicks only or torpedoes? Which way are we going to go? Oh, it depends on the condition of the ground. Like, they might say it's good. They might say it's good, but it's a bit spongy. But I don't think I'll have to worry because I've got to get it first. I don't think there's too many problems in that. Nine best and fairest in South Melbourne. Three I was, Brownlow medals. I was counting on the first tap out from Mossy where it all worked out. And now they kick, they kick off with a bloody place kick. So who are you going to chase, Randy or um, Big Len Thompson for a kicks? I'll just keep near him all the time. Good on you, Bobby. Use the voice. Thanks very much. Have a great night. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. So the kickoff, a place the kick starts. to start the and match. I wonder how many hamstrings we're going to see done tonight. It's Gary Pert. Peter Bedford got away a hand pass. Morris Rioli, the flick passes back in, ladies and gentlemen. Russell Green gets it up towards midfield. And the red team doing pretty well. KB gave a hand pass. Mark it down. 
and Glenn James, the umpire, has found a free kick. <laughs> and down went Graham Moss. Scotty just playing up a little bit there. And the ball goes wide out towards... Uh, now they've got a chance, the blue team. Uh, the blue team, of course, is Barassi's team. And the chance now... Terry Wallace Michael gets it across Roach. now to Michael Roach. Wallace, he looks very fit, Terry Wallace, because he would have been training a lot with the Footscray boys, being one of the coaching staff out there. Barry Breen. Barry Breen. Now, we did remember a lot of our Barry Breen. Helps and killed it to their only premiership. Dipper. Put the hat on the right way, Dipper. Why do you always have to be a little bit different? Here's Scotty. Scotty has got the ball on centre wing. Gets the hand pass away. Now KB again. Little short pass to centre half forward. Quinlan gets it out wide. The Scotty's put it down to try the place kick. You wouldn't believe that, Pete. I don't think that's the time and place to uh, do the place kick. Deal Brownlow medalist Keith Gregg won back-to-back -back Brownlows. Jared Healy, who we know pretty well. It might have been Russell Ebert. I think it was Russell Ebert. Russell Peter Ebert, of course, uh, Peter, uh, won, a, won an absolute stack of McGarry medals in South Australia and was one of the really top players in Australian rules football, Australia-wide. Came across and played a bit of football with North Melbourne. Yes, he did uh, only about 25 games with North Melbourne. We didn't really see the best of him. There he is again, though. Well, we say pinpoint accuracy with the pass. Peter Moore couldn't quite handle it. Gets onto his left, goes at goal. And he's dubbed it, the Dill Brownlow medalist. What about Peter Hudson down there in the forward line for the red team, uh, Peter? 130 games, 727 goals. One of the only players to average five goals a game, and uh, he's still out there looking reasonably good at full forward tonight. There's Douglas. Speaking of full forwards... He played 267 games and kicked uh, over a thousand goals and won the VFL goal kicking four times. And of course, transferred to North Melbourne in that controversial 10 year rule. Let's see what Doug has done, only one behind. He said he's got a bit of a hamstring, Robbie. So, uh... <laughs> well, he is limping a little bit, but uh, it's good to see him out there. Calvin Moore kicks in. Two behind, two taken by Russell Green and he just works line. it wide. I think there might have been a deal done Little there before lead. the game. Russell Green to Dippy and Domenico and Bartlett. As I say, Bartlett looks pretty fit. Have a look at that little kick across his shoulder. He's picked out Quinlan. Quinlan looks fit. Brownlow medalist. Oh dear. He's tried to kick one from about 70 metres. Nearly taken down the back there by Terry Danaher. Don't know who that is. Now, <laughs> Rains. Jeff Rains was a wonderful player of Australian football with Richmond and uh, then, well, actually played Four with a few clubs, clubs didn't he? Essendon, Four. Collingwood and the Bears. But a uh, great player and played a lot of good football here at the MCG. Well, he won three best and fairest at Richmond. There's Swan Mackay. Peter Dacos. Well, he could just do magical things wherever he played, couldn't he? Let's see what he's done here. And he's kicked that one. <laughs> So we have a throw in, Gary Dempsey okay. and Scotty. Well, they had some, uh, actually they brought in the line across the centre, Robbo, because of those two ruckmen, didn't they? Yeah, well, <laughs> Scotty not too happy. Look, he's blue with the umpire, he's lost his hat. And it's all in the uh, spirit of this game, of course. Gary Pert, left foot kick out wide, taken by Dougie Hawkins. Just put a couple of kilos on maybe, Doug, since he finished playing. Morris Rioli always yeah. looks pretty good. Look at that drop kick. Beautiful, Beautiful kick. By, uh, Missed by McKenna. Taken by Southby. Running away from the back line is Shimmelbush. Gee, it's a dream come true for a commentator to put names like this together in, uh, yeah. even if it is a Legends game. Just one match. Oh, it's fantastic stuff. And these, some of these guys are still pretty fit. Well, they, they haven't lost that ability to handle the ball. They probably lost the ability to run a little bit, but you watch their ball handling. Peter Moore's kicked another, another goal. Well, he's kicked two goals, Peter Moore. One with his left foot, and that snapshot with his right foot. I think he looks pretty happy with himself. Sam's got the mark. Sam Newman trying to umpire again. He's got in short. Healy might intercept this. No, he won't. That was Jack Clark, I think, down there. Jack uh, still looks very fit. Don't think he was going to try kick that too far. He was protecting that right hamstring, Peter. Gary Pert. Well, Jack still runs a lot. 
He was always one of the fittest players on the Essendon sides of the past. Gary Dempsey. Look at the long kick. Uh, let's go down to uh, Russell uh, on the boundary line. He's got a special guest. Yeah, we've got Mike Fitzpatrick. Mike, what's your, what are the duties for you? And what are the graces told you? Well, I think it's a bit vague. And I think it's taken a while for first one to go down. But, what's uh, new? For us, a bit vague. <laughs> Where are you going to start off, Mike? Well, I think I'm on uh, about half foot flank. I think we've got a very big bench. We've got a better. Whole bench full of six foot three guys. Fitzy, well, you'd never played half forward a couple in your of goals, mate. You'd be right. Thanks very much. <laughs> Jared Healy again looking pretty good. And Ebert kicks it in, and Wade has taken a good mark. Well, Dougie's been starring, but he hasn't been able to kick over a jam tin yet. This should suit him. And the footballs are uh, from uh, days gone by, too, Peter. You can see there the old Sherrins. He's, he's put that, that one, one through. Yep. Oh, no, he hasn't. That's his second behind, Doug Wade. Two goals to Peter Moore, and for the red team, Peter Dacos has kicked a goal. And Russell's got another guest on the boundary line. Yep, go uh, Peter, we've got Graham Moss. Mossy, how do you feel? Well, I've just come off the ground. I feel a bit tired, actually, after 10 minutes of solid ruck work. Oh, hang on, 15 minutes of solid ruck work. Well, it's half time, so you can take a breather now, and uh, good, good look for a second half. Good fun. Now, Dougie. You missed those two shots. Oh, You're off. Good. You're off. But then we take you forward and take the people off. <laughs> now everybody's on. Everybody who wants to be on's on. Stand out. Derby going to go up, is it? I think we have to be a bit more direct out of the fence. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, I've been running that guy trying to get a kick in the way. Kicking the three is good for him. Don't think. See if we can just hear one Don't kick! Just don't! Just do! That's John Kennedy. No, uh, what? We're not strong. You're out forwards. What do we do? Okay, the uh, second half to start, and Peter Dacos gets us going. And a pretty good interception there in the finish by Bacanara. Matthews, little kick across to half forward, nearly marked by Kevin Bartlett. I think Kevin Bartlett might get a bit serious in this second half. Left foot snapshot has been marked right on the goal line by Gary Dempsey. Terry So the short kick nearly taken there by Jeff Rains. Close to the boundary line, that's a throw, isn't it? Surely. What's happened to these umpires? We've got a few umpires here from days gone by. Glenn James, Ian Robinson, Johnny Sutcliffe. So um, the whole thing has just been brought all the way back for a period of time to give everyone a bit of a go. Kevin Mitchell, boundary umpire, Lee Patterson, Murray Williams, Jeff Wilcox. And goal umpires, Peter mentioned, Les Robinson and Bob Barker. Here, yeah, two of the all-time uh, legends. And there's another one, P. McKenna. Well, he missed, or did he get that one? He got it. We've got Kevin Murray, Pete. Kevin, how does it feel uh, to be back in the boots and running around the MCG? Well, I'd like to be running around, Russ, but I was uh, injured before I even started. So just, just sitting here watching, it's tremendous, really, to be back back sitting on the MCG. I mean, you ran a couple of laps earlier. I saw you out there, at least. Yeah, it was good to be out there with all the boys, but um, got a lot of trouble with the back and the hip, so I just couldn't take the risk of running around. Mort, Graham Arthur. Mate, you've been in a good paddock, mate. Look at this. How do you feel about all that? I'm the only one with trousers fit. <laughs> uh, no, I've got a, my uh, ingrown toenails give me. <laughs> I don't want to hear excuses. I just want to hear why you can't get a kick. <laughs> oh, you're useless. Thanks, Mott. Thanks, Peter. Graham Arthur, you played 237 games and Captain Hawthorne in their first premiership. Have you ever seen that in the injured list? Ingr ingrown toenails <laughs> Mr. Week? Any excuse you can come up with. Michael Disco Roach. Disco Roach. That's good. Bernie. Magnificent computerised scoreboard. Got 16-14. They got 15-15. Yeah, Dipper and Healy. That Easy could have been Dipper. interesting collision. Now they've lost their caps down there. But pick up your caps, boys. Bacchanara. Who was that? Gary Bacchanara, uh, Gary Bacchanara was it? Oh, yeah. He's kicked it, Bucky. He liked that one. Gary Bacchanara, 154 games, played in four premiership sides with the Hawks. Flick passes back tonight. 
And that was, uh, might have been Russell Lee, but was it? And Jezza has taken the mark. Not quite as high as he got off uh, when he marked over Jerker Jenkin that day. Somehow I think uh, maybe those days have gone by. <laughs> but, uh, Jezza was quoted in the paper Big as Nick. saying that all the training he's done have been... Uh, Pots of the amber fluid at the, his well-known watering hole in Carlton. <laughs> the Brandon Hotel, which has been put on the map by Jezek. Glenn James, the umpire, one of the, the best umpires ever I've seen and uh, probably an umpire that's respected by all the players, Robbo. I reckon it's probably because he's a, he, he's a player's man. You know what I mean? He, he seems to, like um, when Ray Sleeth and Jeff Crouch and, uh, you know, the late Jeff Crouch and, uh, you know, play, uh, umpires like Peter Shields, they were allowed to go and have a drink with the players after the game. And I think that's what James, he seems to have that rapport with the players, Fantastic uh, a la... Uh, the other guys from the past. Uh, Jezza going for the place kick, as you can see. I'll back Jezza here. And the place kick at this match is worth two goals. What's he done? He looks pretty happy about it. And he's kicked it. So we marked down two goals against his name. I think we saw Russell Green, Scotty Wallace. Scotty looks better with his cap on. Jeff Rains, I think, looks uh, looks very fit. Flower, Tulip. That was uh, Peter Knight, I think. Number 17 for Geelong, 300th gamer, Sam Newman. And almost a mark down there. Mike Fitzpatrick to Brown. Scotty, Scotty again. Goggin. <laughs> Billy Goggin, Green. former state coach. And a great player with Geelong to <coughs> Him and Polly Farmer were uh, uh, very, very, very prominent players in great Geelong sides of the past. Jezza's again. Hand pass out the back. Rod Ashman. He's found a bit of space. And he has slotted it through. Great little goal by Rod Ashman. Dermy. What's, uh, what's happened to him, Russell? Yes, uh, Peter, Dermy's got a nice little mouse over his left eye. Do you tell us all about it? Oh, <laughs> so no, it's just in the wrong place at the wrong time, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Not as nice as the one you copped in Brisbane, oh, but it'll right. do. That's right, mate. I was asleep, I didn't even see it. Are you enjoying tonight? <laughs> yeah, I haven't been out there. I'm not allowed out there, but I can, if I can find an opening where there's 100 yards, no player, I might run on and just sneak a possession the way I would have liked to have uh, played it in my career. Why aren't you allowed out there? Oh, I've just had it reconstructed my cheek pain a week ago. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So how's it coming out? It looks good. <laughs> You've always been jealous that I'm better looking than you, Russell. Oh, no. <laughs> and that was a great uh, kick by Wolsey from the Dominator. Actually, it was a good pass by Wayne Johnson. Of course, he's been coaching in uh, in Brisbane for the last few years. And uh, I think that's terrific. He's helping the uh, Australian football competition in Brisbane. Uh, with his expertise, I'm sure it, uh, it has to improve. Oh, gee, they, they did some practice at the place kick. Russell Green, 300 gamer with St Kilda and then Hawthorne. Good kick. And Hutto has got the mark. Now, will we see the old flat punt? Well, he'd be relishing this. I'll tell you what, he must have kicked 85% uh, of his goals with those mongrel floating punt kicks. And they were but they still accurate. went through, yeah. didn't they? Well, this would be his... Uh, oh, gee, on this ground. There it is, the flat punt. Oh, good mark. Beautiful Gary Dempsey, Dempsey, how many marks did he take in the oh, back pocket? A million and a half. On to Disco, an unfamiliar he position for him in the back pocket. Bring it off. And Russell has Ebert. Has Only 25 games with North Melbourne, Melbourne, but 390 over in uh, South Australia. And has a lot, it has a lot to do with the uh, Teal Cup team in uh, South Australia, Russell Ebert. Oh, oh Dipper. Dipper! That's trying to be a square off for that... What was that, 87 <laughs> grand final? Johnson got him, I think, and he's been waiting for this chance to deck him, I'd say. It's a melee. <laughs> Dominator. That's got bit, the free kick, I think. A little bit gingerly. Have a look at Dipper coming here. I think there's the, oh, there might have been half a square off there. <laughs> oh, he pulled his pants off. <laughs> Johnson's gone for the drop kick, and he's picked out Wolsey again. Wolsey, centre-half forward in a uh, couple of premiership teams. Gets it back to Johnson. Walls. Oh, he's been down by Scott. And look at Scotty, will you? 
You couldn't get away with it when you were playing, Scotty, so why would you try and get away with it in the Legends game? 15 metre penalty. That's, that's slow-mo when it happened originally. Well, I think it's terrific stuff. Sam left the ball behind. Peter Dacos, magical Peter Dacos. Here they go again, Billy Goggin. Oh, they're going forward now, Morris Rioli, but it's chopped off. Very well done by Southby, but that kick equally as well chopped off by Peter Knights. And Peter Knights, what a wonderful player he was with Hawthorne over a long period of time. 267 games and the man on screen played well over 300, 340 I think. Oh, good for a pass. Great pass. But a beautiful mark has been taken down there by Buck Canara. I'll get him right this time. Bucky's kicked one goal. Do you think that was meant, Pete? Yeah, perfect pass, right off the side of the boot. I think Lethal would say it was meant, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, he's kicked it. Oh, oh, what a shot. I think he's tried for the drop kick goal. Shimmer. Not kicking this footy as well as we would expect. 300 gamer with Hawthorne. And now on the coaching staff down at St Kilda, Chris Mew. Great centre half back for the Hawks. 230 game, played in five premiership sides. Super boot. Bernie Quinlan, whose coaching record at Fitzroy is looking better by the minute, isn't it? Bacanara again. This time, Bucky. That's better, son. Gary Bacanara kicks his second goal. And uh, oh, I guess there's John Nichols, uh, 320 something games at Carlton. Up Dean, best and fairest, like hero, captain and coach of the 72 Premiership team. Didn't they have some great deals? Oh, yeah, terrific. And amazingly, uh, I don't think they, they would have been much over six foot three in the old, which is only about 189, 191 centimetres. And you have big fellas now that are 200 centimetres doing the ruck work. So uh, I think that was the ability of both of those players to read the bounce of the ball and also the boundary throw-ins. Don McKenzie was another one, John Schultz. Not really tall players that were able to survive as ruckmen. We'll go back to Alan Morrow before Alan that. Morrow, yes. Well, you can, uh, you can name a lot, can't you? And of course, Farmer changed the game forever. Good tackle by Jarrett. On to uh, Kelmore it was. Hang on. And the umpire's given a free kick for on the shoulder. Oh, Sam. Sam going for a run. Oh, oh. Get on you, Sam. Beautiful stuff. Had like to wait to get the uh, the camera on him. And Superbird should kick this, shouldn't he? Oh, I think so. I think he's been waiting for something like this. <laughs> Pop one through from about 45. Goal post high. No, he's going to have a go at the uh, place kick, is he? Okay. Uh, you'd have to give Bernie half a chance, although it's a, the distance. He'd be better off having a shot with his uh, drop punt. Uh, I think they're trying to encourage the uh, the players to get back as far, as close as they can to what happened in days bygone. But uh, well, of course, he gets two goals if he gets yeah, that's the right. place kick, and they need this. Because well, they trail 27 to 39 at the moment. The biggest problem... Oh, look out, he's been given a penalty, which has put him just that little bit closer. I was going to say the distance was going to be difficult enough, but to try and get the trajectory from the place kick is the most... I guess the, the biggest problem for a player who hasn't done very much. So, um, if it does level the scores with a double goal here... Yep. Would you say that this has been reasonably well stage managed? <laughs> Level scores reckon, with uh, He's got probably, only, probably only seconds to go. Got to kick it yet? Oh, look at this! All Plenty the of advice. advice. Better get Don He's Scott getting, in there. Well, Sam's in there now. How many goals did Sam kick in his career? No, hit the post. Oh, Bernie. Does he get two points for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> Actually, I think there's a case for that, Peter. Give, uh, give some additional score to a behind. For well, the, you, you tried that in the uh, Lightning Premiership, didn't they? I think there's a good case for that. Gee, that was a good mark, wasn't it? Just go. Michael Roach. Well, there's the bell. So Barassi's team has emerged victorious by 11 points. 6-3-39 to 4-4-28. Bernie Quidlin having the chance to win the match with that place kick from 15 metres out, but he hit the post. 
we're not blaming Bernie. No, 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 no. It wasn't Bernie's fault that we could have won the game, or at least drew it, and we didn't. But we're not blame, blaming Bernie because it happened. You know, other things happened within the 30 minutes, so we're not blaming Bernie. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, it was good fun. I think the crowd uh, enjoyed uh, the spectacle. Uh, Rex Hutton had a turn with his inane comments and all that, uh, but it was really, really good fun. What did you think about the place? Kick? How difficult is it? Uh, I haven't tried to place kick since I last tried to teach me I can blight that, and I'm fairly even about 1978. Uh, in these sorts of boots, it'd be quite difficult to do, although with the platform, it would be a little bit easier. What about the drop kicks, Leo? I noticed Morris Rioli kicking with these. Uh, the drop kicks? When where was the last drop kick in uh, lead footy, do you think? Drop what year? Drop kick. 1970? Oh, well done, guys. Go and have a warm shout of cold beer. Thank you.